second week of the process week uh, welcome 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 uh, today we will be playing the hungarian team hungary hungry hunters obviously and uh, yeah after the first loss uh, after the loss in the first round uh, a bit a tough loss but a bit a bit a close loss but in the end deserved loss we are hoping to rebound today we will be. We have included the Grandmaster Peter Michovic in our lineup, so we are, I, I hope, stronger than we were uh, the last week. And in general, in general, I think that uh, I hope that we we might win today. That we have at the very least good results. So we will see now. Okay, no, no Shit. How do I find? Uh, hmm. Okay, I might, I might not have. Just give me a moment. I haven't added my player to the mix, so. Uh, okay, just a moment. <coughs> it's a bit shame. Okay, let's pause this. Let's also pause here. Yeah, so I haven't added uh, my player Peter Michalik as a friend, and I'm not sure if I will be able to see him now. So I'll have to. It's a bit stupid. Uh, follow. Okay, if I follow him, maybe I'll be able to see his games. Uh, nope, I need to be friend. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, maybe he'll accept me. Maybe he won't accept me anyway. So I, ju I just I just went live. I was I, I was running from work. I had to make myself a lunch. You know how things were. But I'm not late. We will, the games will be starting. I think China and. I'm not sure we haven't yet uh, received any confirmation. I, I assume that uh, the games will be wait five minutes or at least. Hi there, hi there, Hadikovic. Um, let me know if the sound is off. I've, I've been experimenting with some things with the setup and such, so I'm not sure, but I hope it is okay. Hello there, sick. So, yeah, there's that. Yeah, okay, I, I've, I have experimented with some, some setups today, so we'll see that will go okay that's nice to hear that's nice to hear i hope the result will be excellent as well so yeah i now can see his games which is but i hope i will be able to see them once they start live so that's a bit pity when it comes to chess.com mm. you can't follow any player you need to have them as a friends i think but maybe okay let me see uh Okay, yeah, I, I, I may search names like this. Okay, so when he starts playing, I'll be able to find him, which is a bit inconvenient, but what can you do? So yeah, as I was saying, we are playing against Hungry Hunters. Mm, we are waiting for the games to start. This is... Uh, we still have some time to go. So they, they, you see our opponents, uh, they, are, they have uh, the strong 2700 David Navarra in their lineup. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, online chess is different different beast. Okay, let me just fix this a bit. Yeah, okay, so online chess is different beast, and I'm actually not sure how well he did in the first round. I think he scored something like one and a half or two and a half, which is, it's not, it's not like he was dominating. And also, I even though Grishuk scored four out of four, I've s heard that he was struggling, that he was significantly worse in, in at least three positions. So yeah, um, even though though, though Navarre is twenty seven hundred, it is by no means <laughs> will by no means surrender. And also, um, yeah, they, 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 the 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 other two guys, Banush Tamash and Peter Prohaska, they are they are strong grandmasters. But I don't necessarily think our guys are inferior in any means. And also, their last board it was a bit surprising choice to be honest because uh, Trang Huang Tang. Uh, that's a Vietnamese player, uh, and she has a uh, uh, Hungarian citizenship, and she is... I kind of thought she was semi-retired, and I was not sure how active she was, and she is the lowest rated member of their team. So it was a bit surprising to see her in, in their lineup, I didn't expect that. But on the other hand, uh, you know... Uh, I mean, obviously they, they, they had their reasoning, so I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go that. So yeah... Uh, we are waiting. They are the games will be starting any moment. I have just seen in the, in the official chat that they are uh, 
they're waiting for Indian player to join. So, so they haven't yet. He's not online, and the officials requested us to be at least half an hour uh, to be live uh, to be uh, online at least half an hour before the game. Uh, Wait me just a moment. Okay, my my player is asking me who are we playing against, which is something I'm not too happy to hear. Uh, let me just a ask him to accept my my friend request. Yeah, once again, as you can see, we have sort of things sorted out. I was also, I was also trying to, I, I, we will also try to implement one novelty today. After the match, I will try to get the players on the screen to he to hear their thoughts, and I hope we will be able to get them. But that will also depend on the result and um, also titled 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 titled, titled arena on which is after this and what. Leon and Tuan Mikwe will be playing in that, so it will also depend when do we finish. But okay, what can you do? So yeah, if you have any questions about the process league, I'm not sure how we are familiar with it. Uh, okay, the game will begin shortly. So we'll, there will be some action here as well. Yeah, and sorry about me <laughs> eating this chocolate, I was so so hungry today. And yeah, I rewarded myself for, for my efforts. So yeah, while well, we are waiting for the game to start, I will, I'm not sure about the other results. But I think that uh, I think that China lost again. It would appear so that they once again lost. Um, and VE scored only one or one and a half, so... Yeah, it's a group match. It, we are playing four, four versus four. And it's uh we are in a division where there are seven team uh, eight teams so seven teams and Croatia Bulldogs so the four the best four teams will go to the playoff stage and uh, and the best five te fifth team according to the performance so there are three divisions in total we are the members of the eastern division divisions were formed on the basis of the of the geogra on the ge geographical dependency. So that's why we are in Eastern Division together with Hungary and uh, teams from Russia, from uh, China, from uh, from Armenia, from who is with from India, and from two more I can't uh, Israel and Turkey. So that's our division. And uh, in order to balance the divisions out, uh, the fifth best best team will go to I mean Hue uh, or Wonderful Time. He's a strong. Vietnamese player. I think he's number one or two uh, in in Vietnam or three among the best players, and he's uh, well known on Chess.com as a fearful online player, as one of the best online players in the site. As a matter of fact, he has won the title Tuesday previously. Last year, he beat Wes we saw in uh, in in the Proches League. He was playing for Pittsburgh Pong Grabbers, so he beat him, and I stumbled upon him accidentally by. Uh, before the qualifier, so I, I the Chesscom released a list of free agent players, and I took a look at the names, and I saw that uh, that he is available, and that he doesn't he doesn't uh, ask for any compensation. Uh, just a moment. So yeah, <laughs> that was a, I was like amazed that he's available and that he and that he doesn't ask for 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 any, for money. So he just wanted to play, and it was a full. So he did very well in the qualifier. In the first match, he did two out of four. But you have to bear in mind these times are quite tricky for him. So uh, in his time zone, since he's from Vietnam, it's now 11 o'clock p.m. and he will likely play until 1 p.m. So I mean, he said previously that it's not his first time and he's used to it. But I mean, <laughs> can you really ever get used to playing blitz at 1 p.m. and uh, especially since he, now he has like four very, very, very very strong games in a row so yeah for the free i i, I we, we are in the middle of the process of creating uh organization here in croatia and searching for sponsors but for the moment our fees are modest unfortunately so yeah that's that's something we'll have to work on but okay all the guys are 
pre pre re really okay about it and they are just happy to play these strong players okay and the games have started so i might just bring them up the board and let me yeah okay who do you want to watch first uh we have okay let me uh, is the board no ah uh, the board is messed up no it's okay man the board is okay so yeah uh, i just need to find uh where is he yeah, I'll be able to find him, I guess. Lunatics. Okay, let's let's watch uh, Peter Michalik, uh, uh, Czech Grandmaster, who has agreed to play for us. So, yeah, he's facing the Tang Trang Huang. I hope I'm mispronouncing it right. And she's playing the London system, and he's going for this Indian setup. So, um, Peter. Okay, okay, I'll go for to to Leon. <laughs> so, I just wanted to say, Peter here is. He's a Czech Grandmaster and I actually reached out to him, so how did I get to him? Uh, Leon is a teammate with um, uh, Grandmaster Vojta Plach in, in his Croatian team, in Croatian league. And first I got Cro uh, Vojta Plach. So as we were talking, I asked him if maybe he knew some players who would be willing to play, some, somebody above 2500 ideally, and he mentioned Peter's name. So Peter is former chess professional who is now in engaged in the photography. And uh, he says that he plays chess just for fun, although he does play in several re leagues. And he recently told me that he is half away on being retired. So, yeah. But still incredibly strong and, and has very, very impressive uh, rating on chess.com. So, okay, uh, White here is very trying to be very, very safe, but uh, we'll see how that goes. I mean, in these types of, of, of structures, White always has a minimal edge, but then again, Black is pretty, pretty solid as well, and it's hard to play for the win. So we'll see what will happen here. I'm assuming exchange of all pieces. And I guess that black player here should, will be happy, uh, sorry, white player here will be happy for draw. I think that it's obvious that she's playing for a draw. So, but okay, and that doesn't mean that she can't win, of course. So yeah, uh, uh, there's, this will be an interesting game, but <laughs> let's switch to Leon as you requested it. So Leon is playing the slow defense here, slow, slav defense or whatever it's called, and he usually plays the exchange, slav defense, which is regarded as a, as a let's say, inno innocuous weapon. But I've seen I've seen Leon playing quite convincingly and beating strong players with it previously. So yeah, as as you, as you apparent here, these G4 ideas are very very strong, and he has spent very very little time on the clock. I know that he knows his positions well. So, okay, let me just try to see if this works, life analysis. Yeah, uh, the question is what happens if you, if you take, I don't know, but I assume that it, you run into some pro problems here on h7 and you don't really want to open this h file for the rook. Yeah, it is drawish in a way, but uh, it is regarded as such, but I think it's also a very good, uh, good, uh, good opening choice, yeah, because... Uh, I mean, you, you can see it can re become really tactical once the situation stabilizes on the queen side, then uh, white uh, lashes on the, on the other side of the board. And I've seen that these pawn advances on the king side, because everything is so stable, uh, can become quite dangerous. So, yeah, here they, here around apparently just won a pawn for, I bet, okay, okay, there will be some compensation, but, okay, maybe maybe now queen f8 and hitting the, the knight, hitting the pawn behind. But then what do you do? Do you play something like king e2? That seems a bit risky, because then he can take here. So I'm not sure. Uh, this looks a bit as if Wek will get some compensation, but then on the other hand, maybe I'm missing some 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 very obvious move here. I mean, uh, maybe after queen f8, you can just play bishop f4, preventing, preventing the attack and removing the bishop from the attack. So this seems very, very well, actually, for white. I like, I like. And you see that uh, I think that well, I knew this position really, really, really well. So, I like what he did. He has had a, a rough week one, where he lost two dead drawn positions and... Yeah, indeed. So, I, I so yeah, he played queen of eight, and I'm expecting now that bishop f4 will play. But then you have to count with g5, actually. Okay, rook g1. Okay, that's that's a nice intermediate move. Now, the point is, okay, if you take on, on f3, then rook g7, I, I, I still haven't figured out how to, so if you take here, rook g7 is, seems very, very, very strong. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I wouldn't say only opening, like, okay, he had played him once, but it's not like, 
like Vezu is not capable for at playing Magnus in other openings as well. So, so I think that's a bit of an understatement. I mean, especially now since Vezu is always in the form, it would appear that his performance in in the in the Fisher Random World Championship really provided him with some with some how do you say with some confidence, and that he seems he seems very he plays excellent to here at Vike. So we'll see. Now I'm expecting Bishop F4 here. Just, just dealing with this double threat. I mean, also King E2 is maybe, but it, King E2 seems a bit shaky and risky. Although this king will is bound to remain in the center for the moment. I think that castle and queen side. Okay, maybe that's possible, but that, that with all these weaknesses on the white squares and potential rook c8 uh, ideas, I, I, it's, I, I would be afraid to do that. But okay, so uh, let's go see how our, our mean Hle is doing. So yeah, here another exchange defense, and uh, yeah, so uh, this a6 is the so-called Chebanenko line. And Black's idea is obviously to take on c4 and then to play and, and to reinforce the center with b5. But okay, White decides I'm having none of that. I'll go for the exchange variation, and yeah, uh, I mean okay, it, it it is somewhat innocuous. I don't think that, especially in the in the given move order where White is unable to strike with g4, h4, or f4 that white has much, so I like how black is doing, he's very very solid in this position, but that on the other hand, I don't know, actually I, I, the more I look at this position, I like black's position the more, because now maybe you take, you go queen b6, maybe you can even play, I'm not, I'm never sure in this structure, do you play b5 and knight b6, because here he can just play b3, so okay, let me just bring the analysis board to show what I, I'm thinking about, I mean, I, I'm not sure. Where is the flip board option? Flip board, flip board, flip board, flip board. Okay, I don't know where to flip the board. Reset board, clear board, set position, analysis, download. Okay, never mind, I'll show it like this. <laughs> uh, well, there, there, I think we are, everybody is stronger than us. So if you write pairings, I'll just I'll let you do that. If you do pairings, you can see all the pairings here. I think that their average rating is 25.60 and our 25.30. But if you take the overall uh, lineups, I, I mean, they have a 2700 rated player, David Navara, there. So, yeah, who is actually playing against against Navara? That's, that's Yadra, right? He's playing against Navara and he's an exchange down. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's, let's not check that game. Let's see the other games. Hmm. So he did indeed, indeed take and play queen a5 and now rook c6. Okay, I, I like black's position a lot here. Uh, I should... Ah! Oh, damn, 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 damn. Thanks, thanks. Oh, I forgot to change our team. That's right, that's right. Thank you for... for yeah. I knew I forgot something. It was all a bit chaotic there. And since I was, you know, I, I, I added the commands, I... I... Yeah, I don't. I don't want to. I want to start analyzing from this position. <laughs> what you advise for people who want to be good in chess? Study a lot of chess and play chess. I mean, it's it's a very difficult option or, or uh, question to answer in a single sentence. If you go check my Quora, I write about a lot about, about that there. So so yeah, and I, I'm sorry, but I kind of want to focus on the match for the moment. <laughs> we can talk uh, chess improvement any other day. So so yeah, let's 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 switch the flip the board so yeah what is okay let's see let's try to assess the situation and what's happening here so okay obviously obviously black will uh black will double the rooks here and try to create some pressure so i'm not sure if you want to, you, you can you can play before here because uh, i'll take there but then yeah okay if ne never mind never mind never mind yeah so there are potentially some so here Bishop a3 was threatened because if you took on on a3 then the c3 knight would be hanging so let me just bring the position here once again I why I can't flip the board in the analysis board is beyond me but okay so the the play continued queen a5 rook c2 rook c6 and he played a3 and now rook c8 and here the point is if white makes some random move let's say h3 then you can probably take here okay now I now I see that you can but the idea is that if you take here uh, if white recaptures, b takes a3, you simply take on c3 and you win a piece. But the problem is that here b, uh, bishop takes a3, 
can be met with rook a1 pinning this bishop to the queen and now you can't move the bishop and you will lose so that's an instructive moment i think that because usually beginners what they do oh the piece i can take the piece they take the piece but important principle in chess is that um, pieces don't have to be captured immediately why I, oh it's, shut up uh, please shut up <laughs> okay now we have the, the first trolls have appeared the first trolls are here <laughs> Well, I know so much. Uh, please, please, we are time to be serious here. <laughs> you, know, you see, immediately when you arrived and we started, uh, six people have left immediately. <laughs> okay, so let's let's see where were we. Let's see the actual game and how they continue from here. So he played knight b6 with the ideas of knight c4 or maybe even knight a4, but I think knight c4 is his point. Yeah, knight c4, bishop b1, queen b6. Yeah, I believe that black has a lot of pressure here on this pawn. And potentially here along this diagonal so yeah obviously you would like to play e5 at some point but you can't here uh, because knight d5 is hanging but yeah i'm not actually sure what what, what is white's move actually <laughs> because now knight b2 is a serious threat and if you play like rook b1 there are some tactics in the air maybe bishop no not bishop a3 so maybe rook b1 is the only way to defend yeah yeah that's a record because I, I've been spamming a lot. Yeah, okay, so he defends here. Now now you can't take. And how do you increase the pressure? That's, that is the question. I kind of would like to remove this queen and play b5, b4 potentially, or b5, a5, b4, just to chase this nice knight away. Uh, it's not so easy to achieve, I think. Maybe queen d8 is a move, but I don't know. Then maybe he can even initiate. Yeah, uh, still, this knight on c4 is very strong. It can be removed but uh, and also white can play e4 himself so yeah this is i like this decision just a nice slow move increasing the pressure and and you know waiting waiting to see what will happen putting the ball into white's court so to speak and to see to see what will happen okay we'll get to this game later let's go back to leon's game and his opponent has just sacrificed a piece as we were here for so he Mulan is a piece up with but it's yeah okay it's it's a bit it's a bit difficult now. So the threat is queen b3 pro with some perpetual checks, but what about and also this rook is coming here, that's a strong sec. And you also can't play d5 because uh you this bishop would be opened. And you can't move this knight because knight a2 or something you lose your queen. So it's a bit uncomfortable for Leon, I believe. How do you, how exactly do, what do you do about the rook a5 threat here? Threatening checkmate or, or, or the very least deadly, some deadly threats here. Uh, maybe knight here is the move. Okay, let's, let's try to figure this out at the analysis board. So what I'm thinking here is knight here. And just, just to defend this vulnerable c3 knight. And then after rook a5, maybe I can just start running. But that doesn't work, does it? Like here. No, but okay, I'm, I'm dumb. He'll, he'll checkmate me, like queen b3. Okay, I'm, I'm, never mind. Knight g4, queen b3 is just wins on the spot. I have to play king a1 and then rook a5. Is that a pawn? I don't know. I, I... Yeah, it might be. Okay, I just figured this out. Yeah, I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah, I thought. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I, you just literally, you just literally figured that out. So <laughs> amazing. Okay, queen d2. That's that's a that's a nice defensive move. You just want to play queen b2. Yeah, I didn't realize that we have a pawn there. Okay, that's that's nice spot there. Uh, okay, so rook c6 increasing the pressure. Yeah, this is uncomfortable. It's highly uncomfortable. But still, maybe, okay, let's get, the, so the play continued, where is my analysis board, I was down here. So he played queen d2 and now rook c6. And what about now knight g4, it, does it work? I'm just guessing here, knight g4, I want to escape my king here, but... So my next move is just king c2, whatever happens, so let's see. I know, I was the queen, ah. Okay, never mind. So, can is there a defense here now? What what can you do here? This looks incredibly threatening. 
rookie two maybe. But then, then, then something like rookie five week looks. But maybe you can hold with something like rookie two. Or I don't know rookie five knight a two. But it looks incredibly shaky here. I don't know. Am, am I missing something obvious or not? I don't know. Let's see what they what happened. Okay, this is. So he played rook c2 and he took here. Wow. You know, that's that's strong play by black. Because now if rook b5. So if you take here, you have to play. Yeah, so if you take with the queen, okay, let's go back. So he did play rook c2 and he took. So now if you take with the queen, rook b5 wins on the spot. You can't, if you re remove, the t prevent the check. Then you take the queen. So the only move available here is rook c3, but that probably doesn't work also because rook b5, yeah, and now you're lost. King c2, rook b2. At the very least, probably white has something even better. So yeah, uh, this will end up badly. And also, Peter lost, uh, which is a bit, yeah, that serves me right for, for underestimating. Yeah, so how did it go from there? Uh, okay. I mean, I mean, I would say that black is black is not not worse. I would say with such an active queen here. But let's see what happened. G five, H takes H takes, queen C one. Okay. I mean, if if you exchange queens, is that dangerous? He was probably playing for the win, I, that's my assumption. But here he missed. Knight, yeah, he lost this pawn. And it turned out to be. Okay, now he exchanged the queens under m much more unfavorable circumstances. And he. Yeah, he. there was no hope here. Okay. Tough, tough, tough. Yadra also lost. We'll take a look at the game later. Okay, but let's see what's happening here. Okay, so Leon is down a queen. That will be probably not end well. And let's see how 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 Tuan Minhui is doing. <laughs> so yeah, not the best start. Yeah, G4. I don't like G4 as well, but he was trying to play for the win. That's my assumption. He knew that he was a favorite against against their board four objectively. But okay, I mean that's just the beginning. That's just the beginning. So we are still in it. Tuan Minho is still pushing, still creating some pressure, but okay, White, White is very, very solid. He sounds, I guess he wants to go bishop c3 here. He has to solidify this structure. It's hard to make progress here as well. Once again, I'd, I'd like to open the queen side so in, to add more targets. But then again, if you exchange A and B pawns, then b3 becomes a real possibility at some point. So I, I don't know if you want to exchange these pawns or not here. But uh, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's... He'll probably bounce back. I hope he's in... Yeah, I mean, okay, that's the first round. Like, uh, we started with one th with 3 to 1 against India as well. And then it turned out that... Uh, that we, we made the, the game pretty, pretty close, so yeah. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. It's tough out there, what can I say? Okay, so whose move is it actually? I, I didn't follow the game. Oh, what, 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 what? Queen b5, okay, some nice tactics here. He won a pawn, okay. Okay, I think Min Min Hue will win this. I'm sure he'll win this, but... It has to be technically winning for black, although... I mean, okay, not technically, but not easy technique, but but it is, I think, winning. So yeah, that was a nice shot here. The point is that if you move the rook, uh, it's okay. Let me just bring the analysis board here. The point here was that if you, I'm sorry for the for the confusion with with the board uh, board orders. So the point is if you take here, uh, okay, white is on the move. If you take with the rook, obviously it was the queen. If you take Okay, he did take the queen, but if you take the knight, 
then I take your queen and once you recapture the queen I capture this rook and I'll probably win more material soon with oh, when I say rook d2, rook a1 and then the other rook comes here and that's just g d g g so yeah okay Buddha goes so lost uh, that was expected but let's see Min Hue is is let's see Min Hue's technique also good the good thing is that uh, his opponent is very short on time so I'm okay he's now attacking the pawn I'm expecting him to push that pawn Uh, so yeah then then we'll take a look at the at the Yadro Navara game I did, we didn't follow that at all but uh, what can you do Yeah, okay, so he decided to give up this pawn and not to defend it. I'm not sure how much I fancy this decision. What about now, uh, rook b8? Why not knight b8? So now you can take here and threaten knight d3, check. Okay, he, he'll still have here, but maybe you can... Ah, it's hard to defend this pawn now. I don't like how he did it. Because now you, he'll play... When knight c4, knight b8 attacks the c6 pawn. Oh, okay, that's a nice move. Okay, now now it's a different story. Now we have king d6. Okay, now this is winning. But why did, did he have to take here? Ah, he probably... Well, let's say, what if knight c3... Ah, then, then you play c5 at some point. Okay, yeah, that's that's a nice technique. Yeah, okay, that's a nice calculation. Nice, nice, nice calculation by Min Hue. Okay, now this is probably just a... Yeah, I, I thought I completely misevaluated. I thought I thought that maybe immediate rook b8 would 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 be good, bet would be better. But okay, I mean, still this is not so easy, I guess. But that it is a clear pawn, I, I guess. And they usually say that knight endings are are equal, the same as as the pawn endings. So I guess you create this pass pawn at some point, like king here and or d4 or something. Okay, but it's it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky. Let me just do it like this. Okay, so uh, he wanted to simplify there. Okay, now now white black is also, also very, very white is also very short on time, and this should be now now this should be just winning. But once again, I'm not 100% clear about the method. I assume that you want to create a pest pawn here and then collect this pawn. But okay, I, mean, I like the fact that he's not he's not hurrying. That he's not in a rush. Okay, maybe g6, knight, knight to f5. Yeah, that's what I like. Well, I don't know. I mean, they're all st strong players. Okay, he almost flagged. His flag almost fall. Okay, now check. Yeah, now that's all. Now it's all over. Now it's all over. Now, now, okay, 3 to 1. Not the best start in the world, but okay. Yeah, knight here, g5, okay, or, or that, d4, yeah, okay, black can, white can resign here. To one mean way is too good not to convert this, the, okay, now it's all over. I'm expecting resignation. Okay, so uh, let me just update the score. The scores, where are the scores? 1-3 uh, in their favor, which is not the start we kind of wanted, but uh, okay. So they all scored a point except for uh, Peter Prohaska, which is okay. And for us, only Min Hoe scored a win, so he is number one, okay. Yeah, I need to. I'm, I'll probably get more sophisticated scoring system than this, but for the moment, I, I'm 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 a newbish newbish. So yeah, I, I really really like um, Tuan Min Hue's endgame technique uh, in some positions, and uh, he's so accurate. Like here, starting from here, like it's this is not at all so easy to convert here. Like this is extremely nice decision. Like the root a5 is very routine, and I guess it's also sufficient. But just this very dynamic way of playing. 
I like it very much. Maybe here knight b8 was better, I don't know. But then you lose e3 and then uh, then all your pawns are weak. So okay, king f2 makes some sense, but now knight d3 is threatened, so you can do that. Yeah, 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 bishop e7. I mean, okay, Peter Mitchell, Mi Mikalic was 20, Mi Michalik was 29.50 or something, so... So, I mean, Blitz is a bit different than, than this 10 plus 2... Uh, 10 plus 2... Tempo, but okay. So, let's see. Games will, games will begin in about 5 minutes. So, yeah. Let me just bring the scores. Yeah, China lost again, which is amazing. Yogis are leading. We are three to one in the behind, and okay, I don't know what's happening between between Russia and and them. Okay, so now we have five times rest. Let's go over the others game. So let's see what happened here. Uh, yeah, fortunately, Mitchell like a bit over pushed, but okay. The, so they played this this two nice line against the Karo Khan. So how did he lose the exchange? Yeah, this is all theory. I've seen this. The, the, the point of this bishop maneuver is you prevent d4. So I guess that's the reason. But I mean, I, I usually like this position for, for white, but ah, he overlooked. Wow, okay, he over. Wow, that was strong sequence. He overlooked this tactical. Okay, n n this is very strong by Navarra. So knight e2, and now he exploits this pin. This pin here so I guess not bishop f2 came at some point I probably something with bishop d2 bishop d3 or bishop f4 is better here I guess I'm not sure up to theory I have looked this in uh, Magnus is not playing uh, for no I think yeah, I, I've seen this this is theory uh, bishop d4 lines are uh, are actually a thing I uh, I've seen this in keep it simple yeah well it, it just because it's not a main line it doesn't mean that, that it doesn't exist I've seen this in the Keep It Simple 1e4 book on Chessable by International Ma Master Chess Explained. So so the point is here that I expect Bishop the Tours. Yeah, I also wanted to say Magnus doesn't play for Norway Gnomes. Uh, I've actually, if you listen to the recent, the, the recent podcast, uh, oh, I don't know who that is, but it's a, somebody who seems to play the Karakan. Okay, so... Uh, as I was saying, um, um, he can't. Um, he can't. He doesn't want to play, obviously, for for Chesscom, Chesscom events because he's now the owner of Chess Twenty Four. And I think in the recent interview by Greg Shahed, Shahade in, in on Perpetual Chess Podcast, Greg so, said something that uh, along the lines that uh, that uh, Magnus must be. Must be kicking, kicking himself, and he would very much like to play. So, so okay. Uh, what I wanted to say, yeah. So anyway, I think this is this this line is. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but that he he hasn't he has played only the first season of the Proches League, and then he hasn't he has stopped playing after the first season. Just I think about the time when he. He got involved with Chess 24 when play Magnus bought Chess 24, so so I think that makes some sense. So yeah, here he probably after knight f5, bishop f2. There's no defense against this threat. Okay, so and also no, but what can't you play queen d2 here? What? Ah, but if you play queen d2, then you lose e4 pawn, or even worse, bishop f2 combined with knight e4. Yeah, okay, so this is extremely strong tactical play by Navarra. Very very. Very tactically alert. You've got to study them, them tactics. It's such a nice sequence, I have to say. No, you don't play queen. So let me bring this up the board. Uh, so if you get... Okay, let me just not... No, I should... Now you don't see the board, right? Okay, that's dumb. Eh, never mind. What a, what a shit, shitty website this chesscom is. Oh my god. Okay, so... Uh, the point here is that um, if you play queen d2, you just take here, and, and if you, you take, take with the king, then knight e4, or, or or you can, can yeah, 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 I think bishop f2 is just strong. 
the twins, twins on the spot. spot. Yeah, yeah, I mean minus, minus five, five, so that doesn't, doesn't work. Okay, so let's see. Uh, the games are still not starting. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming somebody is still playing, but I'm not sure. Uh, let me see. Yeah, they said the games will begin about five minutes, some five minutes ago. So, yeah, they still haven't updated Russia and 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 Turkey. I don't know if it's okay. So yeah, that's that was, that was uh, and I guess the rest was as they say matter of technique. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't know how to pose them, but I guess this is how you do it. I don't want to listen to myself. I guess that's, that's the game, I don't know. Where is an echo? Echo on the mic? Please don't tell me there's an echo on the mic, god damn it. Is it still here? Uh, is, it, is there really an echo? Somebody told me there, that it, everything was fine with the sound. Ah, fucking shit. Now? Jesus, I hate it. I hate, I hate to set, set up everything. Ah oh, man. I am not. I have no idea why I started. I mean, it started because I, I opened my my Twitch, but now it should be gone. No. I have. I mean, I I don't have. Okay, they are playing. So let me know if if it's gone now. I I have removed the. Uh, they can start playing, by the way. I have removed the sound. I have tried to fix it. So. Uh, is it now better? Please please tell me. I have turned on the background sound, so it should be fine now. Okay, what do we have? The, the battle is Vietnamese and it's still here, fuck's sake. Oh man. Why are you here? Uh, okay, let me just do one thing actually. Now it should be fine, I think. I've I've turned down the stupid technical issues. I'm not sure whether it's something big because I'm using Zoom. Why did Why did I drop out of Zoom for fuck's sake? Okay, sorry about this. This is just confusing a bit. Now it's okay. Oh my god. Yeah, okay. I don't I don't know why that happens. I really don't know. Okay, so how are we doing on the board? So let's let's follow let's follow let's follow Yadro who we didn't see in the last game at all. Let's do him some justice and see how he's going doing against Leon's uh Okay, so they're playing the Katawan with this 95. That's all standard. Okay, but that's not standard actually with 93 here. No, custom here is standard. Knight c3 is somewhat rare. So they are playing now similarly as the other main line. Except that uh, except that here usually we play castle. So bishop b7 castling. I'm not well versed in this theory. I guess you want to play c5 here. But then maybe queen b5 might be a bit annoying. But oh, okay, then never mind. Then you just take on d4. I'm blind. I'm blind. Yeah, Leon does hate the kata one, but, but he was white against Tamash. Uh, and he's black now, and he's playing against Navarra, so that might be the game we will be playing. We will get back to Leon, uh, to 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 Yadro, but so Leon played the Queen's Gambit, declined. And this is all fairly standard here, and Black hints at this minority attack with B4, which I thought was was a bit diffuse. I mean, many, many white players just do this. They play B4, B5, no matter what, actually. But I've read somewhere, and I think it was in one of the Matthew Sedwars reviews, or, or books even, 
that uh, he, he received a, a two hour lecture by Mark Dvoretsky on the Catalan and uh, Oh, I'm sorry on the Kata one, on, on this uh, Kalpa structure and that uh, he, he, it was very very instructive for him so I'm, I'm not sure whether this before is how dangerous it is but we'll, I guess we will we'll see soon I'm also not sure how, how you're supposed to deal with but whether this 9G6 is that accurate or not I kinda maybe you don't, you don't need to determine the position of this knight yet but I, I, I don't know that that theory here I mean there, there are yeah Valetsky has several several good games uh, several good books I mean he's he was a very prolific author I, I have tournament training for the tournament player I like his book uh, that's called um, a tragic comedy in the end game uh, analytical manual is also his. I mean, he has a very, very b big collection of books. But he was primarily an, a trainer, and uh, and uh, in in one of the reviews, um, Matthew Sedor said that uh, Dvoretsky taught him that there are many ways uh, a boy can deal <coughs> deal with this pawn advance. Usually with either c5, sometimes even a5, a4. Uh, yeah, I, I don't like b what Black is doing here, to be honest. This will be a bit... And now we have to go f5. And this might be a bit problematic here on the other side of the board. He just push b5. There's also queen b3, knight c4 ideas, knight b3, knight c5 ideas. Uh, yeah, you have... Okay, bishop f5, uh, I guess g4 is then too risky. Black is fine, yeah, I don't know. Okay, g4, queen, g5 probably, but I mean, maybe you can just go g4 and that's probably way too risky, but maybe it works. Let's say g4, you move the bishop, I play here and then go knight g3. I mean, okay, maybe maybe that's a bit too much, but, but I kind of don't like black's position here. So let's go back to Yadro and see what he's done. It's impossible to follow all four games, of course. So, okay, he did play c5, and now he played. Okay, this pinned him, and now he. Okay, I guess he's doing fine here, but maybe. Yeah, this is a bit bit tricky. Now he probably just. Oh, he doesn't take on f6. Well, queen d4. What's happening here? What's his next move after king g1 or king g1? She, she just doesn't care or what I mean now rook d1 or something or, or will she just play rook c8 and pick up this pawn that's my idea that or maybe other rook I don't know don't know which rook <laughs> because this guy this one was the a7 pawn so that's may, maybe not ideal but this looks a bit awful this looks a bit unnatural here I mean, okay, I like this bishop, but that's it's a, it's a, it's about what I. Ah, you can now take, but why did he? Did, couldn't he have just gone somewhere? What was the threat there? I, I'm blind. What knight g4 maybe, but no. Yeah, okay, now you can just take on f3, but maybe. But wait, bishop f3, and now rook d1, and then what? Ah, then maybe queen g4, but then you lose here. It's a bit tricky because let's say okay, let me just bring the analysis board here. So wh why is it now in my perspective? Stupid! Oh my god! So if you take here, I'm afraid of rook d1, queen g4, bishop takes, g takes, and now here. And once I retreat somewhere, rook. Okay, I probably have to go all the way back to b7. And, and you, if you, you can even take here because. I don't have an, a move, let's say, if I would be able to play queen e4, that would be excellent, but... Wait, wait, what, what, what? Oh my god, I'm blind. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm blind. I'm, I'm goddamn blind. Rook d1, yeah, of course. Of course. Okay, that's right, that's right. That's right. So he's still thinking. Uh, no, he... So what happened here? He played... Okay. A bit mystifying. 
Now he just seems worse. Maybe bishop f3, but are we missing something here after bishop f3? Maybe some, oh, maybe some knight b5 and queen takes f3. Yeah, 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 just, I've just noticed it. That, that's just so many things to consider here. But now, now I think black is in the driver's seat. But what you, you, you couldn't take here, why? Right? You didn't want to take. I thought you would take. That would at least justify your play, even though it might be dangerous. But I mean, if you take, you exchange queens. I don't know. Now he just take here and this pawn looks scary. Okay, no, you can take on c5. I'm I'm dumb. So it, okay, maybe knight d4. Wait, wait, what what's happening? Why is he playing so quickly? Why can't you just take here? Ah, rook e8. Shit, rook d8. Yeah, yeah, okay. So if you take on c5, he plays rook d8, and then you you have to take and you lose the queen. So now I guess something like yeah b4. Wow. This is just very, very bad for black. So let's go back to the game. What happened here? So Navara didn't play like this. So he played. Okay, he he wanted to sack here, and now Leon is thinking. Probably thinking about knight g2. I guess the problem with knight g2 is that he takes here. So yeah, once again. So the problem is if you take here, I guess you take here. And then, but then, don't they have something like rook e6, but do I have anything here, or did just pure speculation on my part, maybe on rook h1, rook g6, king f1, let's say, I don't, s okay, okay, that's nice, that will make your trip shorter, I assume, <laughs> you have just missed a couple of highlights, like missing pieces, missing easy tactics and everything, so, so yeah, uh, that's that. There's that. Okay, so, so how, how is our Peter, Peter boy, boy doing? doing? Oh man, man. in Hungary, Hungary was their first match, match but now the okay. The, this this type of car can is actually this thing looks harmless. What, what about Mike? What a fuck shit! I honestly don't, don't know why, why it happens. happens. I honestly don't know why it happens. Okay, I'll try to reduce the gain. What about now? Now, now it's probably too, too. It's not so loud, right? Now you can barely hear me if I. Too low, yeah. I thought so. What about now? I, I, I expect it might be louder now, but maybe it's not so... <laughs> it's perfect, yeah, of course, because you can't hear me what I'm saying. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we'll keep me posted about them. I, I really don't know. I didn't do anything to the sound settings and suddenly it started echoing. I don't, I don't know. Ah, stupid. 91, okay. So they are playing this sort of endgame where... I mean, yeah, I've seen, I've seen this, uh, I've seen this implemented by strong players like I don't know Geary or anything. So this looks a bit drawish, but I guess White's justification here is that he, uh, he has three pawn islands compared to Black's two, and Black can't really do anything. So, uh, yeah, okay. So he has just one uh, pawn. And he seems to be a clear pawn up. Okay, so that is good. That is good. So somehow imperceptible, he has won a pawn. He, I, I'm not sure what black missed, whether he... But this, this, this whole idea with f5, f4 seems a bit premature, I'd say. I'm not sure what he missed here, but... Yeah. Or why didn't he play, play something like rook e8 here, maybe? Ah, you can't play rook e8 because then you will run into problems on the e-file. So rook d8 was on. But what if you move something like rook f7 or... Or whatever. I still like if it was the pawn on e5. So yeah, this whole idea with f4 was he just missed bishop c5, and it's such a strong move. So yeah, this was great. 
I mean, okay, obviously you have some technical issues here. It's not like it's winning on the spot, but I like this, the fact that bishop is controlling. So I, I'd expect rook h to f1 just to defend pawn. Obviously doing so with the king would be dumb or a bit unnatural, maybe not dumb, but uh, okay, I need to move, move this message, fuck. This, there's no club, that, that's an old message, R disregard that. So okay, I mean, obviously white, 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 white is doing well here, I think. Rook h f1, yeah, I guess the move. He's pr he's trying to get to rook h5 or maybe rook b5, but we we'll see what he'll happen. He probably wants to keep uh, the bishop on this diagonal, but bishop a3 seems a bit off. But then again, okay, now I'm expecting rook here, but then the d4 will come, I guess. Uh, so rook here, f4, and then bishop h6. Is that any good for for black? I think I'm, I mean he maybe missed that rook e8 and he would ra that he will be pinned. I mean I'm not sure how quickly he played it. Oh, he's also attacking a7. That's his point. He he keep the, the bishop on this diagonal to keep that pawn protected. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I don't know what could. I mean, but bishop c5 is coming all the same. I don't know what he. Maybe he. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Maybe he missed uh, this entire. I don't know what 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 could have him missed actually. Yeah, but this was. Yeah, this so this is okay. This is very nice. This is very nice. Okay, I guess we'll see more of this game later. Let's go back to. Wow, this has escalated. And yeah, this will. Okay, what's happening here? Both sides have equal pawns, but white's pawn seems much more dangerous. But okay, maybe h4 now. <laughs> Puny G. No, I didn't say that. I mean, I'm, I'm analyzing from the top of my head. <laughs> I mean, I mean, but they also can blunder, especially since he lost the first game. That that you have to bear that in mind. That that this that, that this plays an important role. Come on, <laughs> I didn't say Puny GM. Okay, so Min Hue, two out of two. What a beast! We haven't even checked his game, but once again, he's doing his business and he's he's carrying this team. What 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 a <laughs> what what an ugly variation against the wow <laughs> okay just like that he makes it look so easy like wow well, bam 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 and so the pawn goes and now we'll see his technique oh yeah, oh, yeah. so dynamic yeah he just yeah he just overwhelmingly okay that's just beautiful Threatening checkmate. Okay, that was just wow! What a game! What a, what a game! So many. I mean, such such a dynamic. Okay, that, I I like it. He's so so informed today that that uh... really. Are you sure? <laughs> I I'm trying my best, but. I, as I have said last week, I really, really have trouble understanding this game, so I'm basically blurting up a bunch of nonsense and hoping it will work. <laughs> that's that's the best I can do. So, wait, is Yadro overtaking this game? Is there any chance he might be better? Okay, he can be better, but he can probably draw. Yeah, yeah, that's true, that's true, That that's, that's just rude. But, I mean, this is... This is... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, okay, so if you go knight d6, I take, f3, I take, you take the knight, my pawn queens most probably, so you can do that. So, so, yeah, what will happen here? He'll probably have to go repeat back, but I, I like I like the fact that, uh, that we are back. Oh, no, he, ah, no, no, okay, he takes. King, king, one, two, he'll get the queen, but this will be just a dead, dead run. Yeah, he have to take the knight now. Oh, oh no, no, I see what he wants. He has queen e8 and queen f8 and they just lost. Ah, man. Ah. No, so. Ah. So this is what's, what, what will happen here. Takes, 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 takes. 
queen, 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 queen. Wow, oh, nice calculation, nice finish. But, uh, uh, but he couldn't have defended all the same, yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe he should have started with something else, maybe h4, but still it's very difficult. Yeah, this is, I mean, ah, sh too bad, too bad, too bad. Okay, let's, let's go, CP, how Peter is doing. So Peter is still a pawn up, but wow, not the most com comfortable pawn up in the world, I guess. So active, all pieces so optimally placed. And the very least he can probably just take his f4, f4 pawn. And uh, let's say queen, rook h4, I guess. But now maybe you can play rook here and rook here and target the c6 pawn. Maybe now. Yeah, okay. I, I expected rook g6 actually. Yeah, white is a bit tied up here. I mean, obviously he can't lose this game. Uh, he shouldn't lose, but. Yeah. Okay, how is Bulldog doing? He's low on time once again, but he's probably... Ah! Rook f8. This will be painful. Oh, is he... Or is he surviving here? He's a, he's a pawn down, but... Here? And now rook d8 will come, right? No. Wait, what? King f7. Ah, and oh man, so, so strong. strong, so strong, so strong. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this is. I, I thought that this would be very hard to defend. Wow, that's nice, nice shot. Wow, knight b6. What an amazing calculation by Navarro. Wow, he's... Why did he have to be on form today? He seemed to grab his form. Yeah, now now you can grab the pawn. This You're just losing. Oh, wait, let's, let's see what's happening here. Now we have a... Yeah, now white is even worse, I guess. Yeah, he's playing for the win, and okay, rook h4, rook h, rook g2, I guess. I mean, yeah, I don't think you should lose this, but you can't win it, so. Yeah, this will probably end in a draw. Oh, man. <laughs> not, not our day. Not our day. I really don't know why. I really don't know why. Uh... Maybe I'm too close to the mic, I don't know. I mean, I've reduced everything. Let me just try one thing, actually. 